You'd be very wrong. Tractor pulling is a test of sheer power. It's a towing competition between tractors. The aim is simply to drag a weighted trailer as far along a hundred yard track as possible. It's an ideal sport for spectators with plenty of noise and dirt, with some machines looking more like huge dragsters. Well, it may sound easy, but the trailer carries this weight box, and that's geared to move as the trailer does. It moves from over the back wheels forward towards the sledge, and as it does so, it increases the nose weight and therefore the drag. When this becomes too much, the tractor grinds to a halt. As you'd expect, the tractor which has the best combination of power and traction stands the greatest chance. At the end of the run, the distance the trailer has been dragged is measured, and the furthest wins. Tractor pulling began almost 50 years ago in North America, and it started because a pair of rival farmers were arguing about whose machine was the most powerful. Well, it's now nine years since the first pulling tractors were built in this country, and since then, 160 of them have been registered with the British Tractor Pullers Association. They're in four classes. This one is the Mini, and it, they range right up to the modifieds, which are the biggest and most powerful, like this giant here. Now, this is one of those that has multiple engines. There are five Rover V8 engines on there, and they develop 1,500 brake horsepower. Other modifieds have ex-Marine and ex-Aero engines, such as the famous Rolls-Royce Merlin and Griffin. And some of those develop up to 3,000 brake horsepower. Well, these are all clearly very individual machines. So do their owners need design experience? No, not really. Uh, I think if you've been in the job a year or two, you pick up one or two points and you keep uh, advancing on them. Uh, well, our theory is cut it, dry it and fry it. <laughs> What's the engine you've got in this one? It's uh, a Rolls-Royce Sea Griffin 101, uh, 37 litre V12 petrol supercharged. What sort of power does that put out? Uh, about 2,500 horsepower with the rev that we're giving it now. And how much time do you have to spend preparing it for the time that you're actually competing? Um, well, about for an hour's of tractor pulling, they're about 250 hours of tuning. It's not only time they consume, but also enormous quantities of fuel. Oh, it's not very economical. It uses about a gallon and a half in 30 seconds of running. <laughs> Under full power, that is. <laughs> and what about water? It drinks a bit of that as well, I well we put we put water into the cylinders, mainly to cool it, because it runs at extremely high temperatures, which would just melt the pistons yes. if the water wasn't there. It seems a very volatile sort of unit. Don't you worry about them catching fire? Oh, it does catch fire. It does? Oh, it has, it has caught fire, unfortunately. We wear fireproof suits, but they, the turbochargers get very, very hot, even for a short time that they're running, and it just catches fire. You have to watch it and make sure it doesn't. With these huge amounts of power, safety is important. The trailer and its operator are connected to engine kill switches to prevent them going out of control. But in making a successful run, how much is down to power and how much to driver skill? Well, it's both, really. It's getting all the weights around your machine, right? so that you don't overlift. Really, you just want the wheels kissing the track, so you've just got steering, but maximum traction on the back wheels. Well, I'm all geared up, and this is the tractor I'll be using. I'll be sitting behind a thousand horsepower, so wish me luck. Spectators didn't think much of that, and the result was a broken towing bracket. So, wheel out another machine, call the Nightmare, and try again. The first shock you get is the enormous kick in the back when you let the clutch out, and then the massive power nearly snatches the steering wheel out of your hands. Steering isn't easy because the front wheels bounce off the ground. Well, I think that's the most nerve-wracking driving experience I've ever had. And very nice, thank you, but I think I'll leave it to these guys in future. 